Are you ready to add a upsell to your funnel and build your very first funnel inside Thrivecart? For us to do this, all we need to be able to do is set up your product to start off with. So you will set up your main product. So we have an upsell set up on this product here, this building academy. And what happens is it's an upsell. So if you go in upsells here, you have to add the upsell in first. So we can see here, we've got the online income academy added in. So what we would do first off is we would press create upsell. It's digital. So we're going to press create new upsell. And then we're going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it testing upsell just because that's what it is. You don't really need to do a descriptive label. Um, press next. Now you choose what your pricing is going to be. So is it going to be a subscription? Is it going to be a split pay? What is it that it's going to be? So I'm going to say that it's going to be a one-off type, one-time fee. Um, they can just be some limited quantity because it's digital. They can purchase just one and it's going to be 47. And then that's it. So press next. I don't want to do any tracking code for this. I'm just going to press next again. And I don't need to do any affiliates. So the success page link. So here you can customize the details what appear when they've got it, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to press next. And then behavior rules. So we can add a rule in and say when this upsell is purchased, do something inactive campaign, for instance. Um, so or do something on a Google Sheet or any other integration that you have. So I could say add it to the list. I'm just going to pick this and then press save. And then we're going to press save my upsell. But nothing's going to work with that upsell unless we put it inside a funnel inside here. So to do that, what we do is we go to products. And when you've got your bit here, you would press edit funnel. And then we'd start to add a funnel. If it doesn't say edit, you would just press create funnel. You tick that and then all these options are going to become available to you. So I'm just going to go back to this one. So you would have ticked that box. And then this comes up. So what do you want to do when someone purchases the next thing? So for me, it was to add them to a membership site. But for you, it could be that you want to display their invoice. Um, you want to provide URLs for everything that they've purchased. And you would provide a different URL, add them to their membership site, or just use a custom script. So we're not going to go into that, though. So I wanted to add them to the membership platform. And on here, I want to... You can choose what you want to do. So with the upsell, you can make it so that it's just one click to purchase or there's another confirmation step at the end. I just use it as one click just to minimize clicks. When we come down here then, we can say what the upsell is. So we can see we've got the testing upsell and we've got the upsell that I set up earlier, which is Online Income Academy. I can select what course I want them to go into when they purchase it, which is Online Income Academy, and then job done. I've also ticked this bit here. So when this upsell is bought, I'd want it to cancel the previous purchase because the List Building Academy is a tier down and they get it automatically. So I don't want them to go through with that purchase because what would happen, they would have been charged £7 for List Building Academy and then the £47 for Online Income Academy. And I don't want it to do that. I want it to just charge them the £47 because they've decided to upsell. It might be, though, that you don't need that and the two separate, total different products. And if they are, you would untick that. Now, the big bit here is pressing the edit upsell page. If we press edit upsell page, um, we can press launch upsell editor, or you can use this to launch an, 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 go on, launch an embeddable upsell editor inside it, but we don't really want to do that. So we're going to use Five Cats page, and we're going to press launch upsell editor. And then when this is first done, it doesn't look like this. It's very basic when it comes on. But what you can do is you can design it out using the right-hand side, just how you would design the checkout. So here we've got ours saying wait, special one-time offer. We've got a VSL on here, a video sales letter, and then we've got everything in. So what would happen is someone would press yes, upgrade my order. And when they click on that, it will change their purchase from a £7 purchase to a £47 a month purchase. It's done and dusted. Or they can press, no thanks, I don't want this. Um, it's not something I'm interested in. And it will just do the £7 purchase. And then I've chosen to add more information in to mine as they scroll down so they can see the extra information. And it is literally just as simple as doing this, okay? So it will automatically add this button in 
and you would just use the right hand side to drag in what you want to drag in for the design of it. And then we would press save changes. And then press exit. And that's it. It is now done and dusted. You could add more upsells, you can add more downsells, but don't forget to press the save sales funnel at the bottom. So what would happen now is someone would come to this page here. They would go to the checkout page and then they're going to check it all out. So I'm not going to do it on mine yet. And then once they've checked out, it would redirect them straight away to the page that we just designed out earlier. So it will redirect them to this page here that we designed out. And then they would decide what they want to do and that would lead them to the next step. And it's as simple as that. So hope that helps you in creating your upsell. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know how you found the video.